The looming threat of rising COVID rates has Governor Cuomo imploring New Yorkers to do the right thing. It's up to you in your community. Avoid parties, shopping, and skip the big family Thanksgiving this year. The statewide infection rate sitting at 2.7%, including hotspots. New York City above that at 3%, triggering fully remote schooling last week. And as numbers rise, restrictions tighten. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio pleading with parishioners over the weekend to be safe this Thanksgiving. A second wave of this virus is attacking us. Parts of Staten Island on track to hit red zone numbers this week. Upper Manhattan and parts of Long Island all hitting yellow zones with new restrictions coming. Yellow zone C reduced numbers in houses of worship. Any other gathering capped at 25 people, no more than four at a restaurant table. And schools open by testing 20% of the population. Once at orange warning level, houses of worship shrink to a third of capacity. No more than 10 people can gather. Non-essential businesses close. Indoor dining is scrapped. All schools go remote, but can reopen after cleaning and testing. And red zone restrictions put churches at 25 percent. No mass gatherings at all. Only essential businesses open. Dining is takeout only. All schools go fully remote. And a real sign of the times people lining up, some of them four hours in advance of this city MD opening up all to get a COVID test. When people are being told anybody who wants a test can get a test, it's a little bit difficult when you have to put aside four, five, six hours of your day in order to get one of these tests. Not everybody has the luxury of time to do that, especially now that parents are homeschooling their children here in New York City and many people still trying to work to pay the rent, put food on the table. Reporting from the Upper East Side, I'm Kirsten Cole, Pix 11 News.